criminal mischief charges come in several varieties. There are misdemeanor criminal mischief charges and there are felonies. It all depends on how much damage the state can prove in terms of how much punishment they can dole out for this. Look, 94.275% of these cases are, you know, domestic in nature. A jealous lover, a cheating spouse gets back on the other person. You know, you've watched Dateline or Lifetime Channel. You've seen this scenario play out a hundred times. That's how these things usually play out. The damage is typically done to a car, typically done to the front of a house, things of that sort. The problem is damage alone doesn't get you a criminal mischief charge. You got to have more than damage. If it were only damage, then, I mean, every auto accident would be a crime because you're committing damage to another person's property. No, you've got to have malicious intent. If you've got malicious intent combined with damage, then you potentially have a criminal charge. Now, Malicious intent is a pretty foggy notion sometimes. There was a young adult, for example, uh, living on and off with his parents. They had a very ornate, nice liquor cabinet, and he decided it was time to have some of that good, fine whiskey that apparently his dad was saving for a special occasion. The problem is the cabinet was locked. Smart move for most parents, however, lots of damage, thousands of dollars worth of damage to get into this thing and get at all the liquor. The bottom line is the kid got charged with the criminal mischief and the case was thrown out because the, the intent wasn't malicious, the intent was to drink. And so you do find, believe it or not, that within the criminal mischief law, there are nuances, there are defenses, there are loopholes and you want to get a local attorney involved so that this thing can be fixed. And one other caveat on a criminal mischief, because the, the, the evidence is typically so weak on these things, the cops are probably going to try to reach out to you to get a confession because they just don't have enough without you confessing. The confession will come in two forms, right? Number one, the person with the damaged car, what have you, is going to text you, I know you did this, blah, 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 blah. Don't take the bait and get back to them. Don't take the bait and rub their nose in it. Yeah, I did that. You deserved it. You slept with so-and-so. No, no, no. Do not take the bait. Call a defense attorney immediately because you're being set up. Or the cops will come to your house. Hey, look, we're not going to arrest you, but we want to talk to you about an incident. Do you know so-and-so? And how do you know so-and-so? No, don't go down that path. At that point, you've got to tell them, look, I'd like to have an attorney here, and then I'll chitter-chatter all you want to talk, but not until an attorney shows up. And so let's schedule an appointment, and we'll have this discussion a later, at a later time. That's when I hope you call somebody like me, make sure they're local, make sure they've handled criminal mischief charges before. Most defense attorneys have and I do wish you luck with your case. Take care.